Hey, more chandeliers! More chandeliers! More chandeliers! I love you for going with it. She's like, fucking yeah! Hi, everybody. This is my friendly face. Get used to it. Uh, that's fine. I do look like Renee Zellweger when I smile. Just get you. It's fine. Totally fine. I want him over! I want him over! More shan. Okay. I don't smoke pot. Uh, I am naturally stupid. I am, a, I am a naturally stupid person. No judgment if you like pot. I'm just so close. I'm just so close to dumb all the time. I don't need it. I one time saw a billboard that said lawyer and then the phone number, but it didn't have the dashes. That's enough to confuse me. No dashes. I was like, what? What? What is it? What? Oh, it's the number of cases he's won. 888,801 and then four digits. That's a lot. I, uh, I want to teach you something. This has really made my life better. Anybody here from Great Britain? I won't tease you. I've, I've learned something from you. It's okay. She covered She's like, no! I just switch personas. I'm a friendly guy, but I'm like, look at this bitch! It's not that. It's not that. I've learned something from our British friends, something brilliant. I call it Britishing it. It's a real conversation technique that can save you a lot of awkward moments at parties. Because I'll tell you what I do. If I'm at a party and someone says something awkward to me and I don't know how to respond, I just take a shift. And I'll give you an example. Somebody's like, oh, hey, Pete. I'm like, hey, man. Hey. This part's not normally done. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm not doing so good. I, I, I don't think grandma's gonna make it through the summer. It's just, oh. Now what I do is I take my shift with that awkwardness and I'm just like, oh, oh no. Oh, I'm so sorry for your upcoming loss. I am sorry. I am sorry, death, oh, oh. British people figured something out. That figured something out. That is not helping. Nobody needs to hear you saying shit. People just want to vent sometimes. They just want to let it out. So just hit the fucking ball back. You don't need to take a shift. Hit it back. That's what British people do. They're like, Grandma, I don't think she's going to make it through the summer. She's on the way out, is she? <laughs> right back. You don't want that shit. Get it out of here. He's like, yeah, it's making me really, really depressed. Feeling a bit blue, are you? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking about killing myself. Can't quite take it, can you? <laughs> Maybe I'll hang myself. Painful though, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe a gun? Faster, yeah? Maybe I'll do it tonight. There's one more, you're gonna like it. Maybe I'll do it tonight. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. Britishing it, that's what that's called, Britishing it. Ah, uh, this is the last thing I'll say and then I'll go back to uh, cleaning dishes. <laughs> my shift. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, I'm a straight person, I'm a straight person, but I, I, think, I think we need a new way to measure sexuality in this world, I really do. Like, I, I think it is a spectrum, and I like to say I'm straight, but I'm 28 days straight. <laughs> what does that mean? That means, just, you know, hypothetical. Let's say I'm in a plane crash. Everyone dies. Everyone dies except me and Ryan Gosling <laughs> are the only people that survive. It's just me and Daddy Goss on a beautiful island. A beautiful island. A be you're gonna. Don't you back away. I will not accept that you're not gonna fuck that man. You will fuck that man. A lot of you are like, no, I wouldn't. You're a liar. It's only a matter of time. That's how straight you are. I'm 28 days. Don't get me wrong, some people 100% gay, born gay, light turbulence, they're blowing the goss right on the plane. It's like, you fucking mine right now? Boom! You know what I mean? 
Can somebody help with the situation, Jesus? I am 28 days. That's a good amount of time. Rescue is not coming. <laughs> Definitely not coming. We've had time to build up a rapport. <laughs> On the morning of the 27th day, he's glistening. He's just bathing in the ocean. <laughs> oh, just being casually attractive. He tussles my hair. He throws a football he made out of a vine. He's very resourceful. <laughs> he's very resourceful. The evening of the 27th night, <laughs> the evening of the 27th night, <laughs> We sleep together, spooning, little spoon, for warmth. <laughs> Morning of the 28th, nature takes its course. I'm 28 days straight. Now, I have done this joke before. I, don't be offended, I'm seeing other audiences. And I one time did that joke in Texas. Yeah. And sometimes places just are what you think they are. Texas is one of those places, and right where you're sitting, sir, there was a cowboy, just a cowboy, good old American cowboy, red plaid shirt. You just picture a fucking cowboy. <laughs> he goes, hey! Ah, no. He's gonna heckle me. He's gonna say something terrible that's gonna ruin the bit for the rest of my life, and I'll never be able to do the bit without thinking about this man and how he hurt me. And I'm just like, ah, yes. And he goes, 13 days. <laughs> I gotta get back, my kitchen manager's yelling at me. Thank you, Canada.